after Oslo, um, just didn't have any energy. Like getting sick when you're pregnant, that's a whole different game, apparently. <laughs> I just got a very exciting message uh, that a package has arrived and I have been waiting for this moment. Uh, maybe a bit too much. Again. <laughs> um, here in Finland we have something called like a maternity pack. So essentially when you announce or inform. <laughs> um, that you are pregnant, the government gives you a maternity box. You can either take it as the box and you get all kinds of stuff, or you can take it as like money. This you get in the maternity package so basically everything you need when you get a baby so you get some clothing some pants pajamas some of these bodies then this box is actually designed so you can have this as a baby's bed so there's a mattress here there's like a duvet um, some sheets so you know for the first at least months you can use that as a baby bed. I actually don't know if any other country has this. I read somewhere online that I think some other country might have this uh, same. And um, in Finland, it's like a tradition. It's been for years and years um, that you get a maternity package if you live in Finland and if you're in the like the healthcare system. Um, and you have to be, I think it's like five months, you have to be pregnant when you then uh, can apply for it. But yeah, just very, very lucky to be living in a country where we're taken care of so well. Of course, we do pay high taxes, <laughs> um, but the healthcare system is really, really great and just feels really nice. Even though we bought stuff and we bought a... Wait, where is it? No. A stroller yesterday um, and some other big things. But here you kind of get like the basics, which feels nice because it's a little overwhelming navigating what exactly you need when you get a baby. <laughs> Good morning. I am just on my way to one of my checkups. Today I am week 26. So approaching end of my second trimester of my pregnancy. I've had an absolutely lousy morning. <laughs> I missed my bus. I uh, had to go back home, wait a while. This is the second attempt. Um, just had like some bills that I had forgot to pay uh, that I had to sort this morning. There's been some problem with my website, the credit card payments, um, all kinds of things. Yesterday I had this uh, other checkup where you check for uh, diabetes during pregnancy because that's apparently like a thing so I was at the, like, the health center for like two hours they took like three blood tests and I wasn't allowed to eat and I mean, it was fine it wasn't that bad but it just like feels like the last 24 hours uh, there's been so many things like piling up and I felt so stressed and overwhelmed then the heating in our house uh, has been broken and it's now like minus 13 degrees Celsius. So it's been super cold inside and just everything piled up. And yesterday I had a proper pity party crying. Like it all just got to me and this morning then like sorting out these bills and everything. And I had other things that I really needed to do that I didn't get to do. So yeah, <sighs> one of those days. 
Um, but I'm hoping it will turn around. I'll go for my health checkup. Uh, I have my laptop with me. I'm gonna go to maybe a cafe and sit, get the things done that I plan to do uh, out of home. Uh, so yeah, but definitely, uh, I don't know. I think I have to put more realistic expectations on myself, how much I can get done. Um, Cause I'm also just slower. My brain just, I feel like doesn't work sometimes. <laughs> um, but yeah, wanted to share this with you because it's definitely not all dancing on roses <laughs> every day here. <laughs> I am here to attend an event tomorrow with Knit App. So nice that they have prepared a little gift basket with some goodies. Yay! Trip to Oslo is starting very nice. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Oslo. This is my first time in Oslo. I'm super excited about this weekend. I am heading to a a knitting related event. Um, I'm gonna talk at this uh, knitwear designers meetup hosted by Knit App. Uh, super excited, mm, not really nervous yet, but maybe I will be, but very excited to meet some of the knit designers that I have been following on Instagram for ages. And tomorrow there is a knitting market. So be prepared for lots of yarn shopping. Let's go. But it's not easy when you blind from the truth Oh darling, let me be your mountain Cause I see it as my car Okay, we've gone through the technical setup um, I'm prepared for my presentation There's gonna be some other things first We'll have a lunch, uh, which I'm really excited about It's so nice to be here in this space um, and just really looking forward to this day and meeting everyone and just getting to talk with knitwear designers because I feel of course when you go to events um, it's super nice to get to meet other knitters um, but it's a bit different I think when you then gather you know because here everybody is kind of doing the same thing as I'm doing so just really looking forward to the inspiration and like the conversations um, that'll be happening today. Um, so yeah, Ooh, lots of good stuff in store. Today is Saturday, the main day. We just walked past uh, the place where the market is gonna be, the yarn or knitting market. Uh, but we need to have some breakfast first. I am super hungry, feeling quite tired today. It was a really fun day yesterday, but very <laughs> intense. Got to meet so many new knit designers. I had my talk, um, which went uh, really well, I think. And I think. Uh, people or I hope people got value out of it as uh, so I talked about uh, some strategies that I've used to some more knit patterns and try to give some ideas and hopefully like inspiration uh, for all the ones attending so it was really fun and then we had dinner Yuki also came um, it was a lot of fun but definitely a long day so today I'm really looking forward to just browsing the market the yards and getting to explore more of Oslo
I've just explored the third and the second floor. I think there's still one floor, but so many people and I'm honestly a little overwhelmed. I have a feeling it might be that I'm gonna go empty-handed from this event just because there's so many nice yarns and then when there's so many people, oh, I get a little bit stressed because uh, it's like big decisions when you're gonna buy something for a project. So, but that's okay. If I'm not gonna buy anything, it's totally fine. It's still soaking up the atmosphere, lots of inspiration, lots of getting to meet new people. So it's fine, but definitely overwhelming. <laughs> I'm standing outside of Pickles. Pickles is a yarn brand that I think I've followed since, oh, I don't know how long they've been in existence, but probably like 10 years. I remember them from way back. I had on my Pinterest boards Pickles, um, I think it was a pattern. And yesterday I also got to meet Katie from Pickles. So today I'm really excited to go and check out the yarn shop. This is also something I've seen on Instagram. Always thought if I ever come to Oslo, I'm gonna go and check it out. So let's go and see what they have. It definitely lived up to expectations. I got a really nice yarn. I'm gonna make, um, I'm thinking of making another uh, stitches sweater with the yarns I got in Pickles. Um, and she was so kind. Uh, I already met Heidi yesterday um, at the knit camp. Um, and she kindly gifted me all the yarns, which, oh, I don't know, just like the kindness in the community always surprises me. Um, and I got some samples, I'm very excited about it. And it was just really nice to see all the qualities, like they're so soft and the colors just so spot on. So I'm definitely gonna be ordering some stuff from there, uh, I'm sure. And now just browsing around, I found a Gunny postmodern store where they had like a sale. So I got like some Gunny stuff. Um, that fits me even with my bump. <laughs> and now Yuki is in the shop over there. I think we're gonna maybe go and eat something, uh, browse around, uh, soak up all the Christmas vibe here in Oslo.
Ganon. <laughs> Hello and happy 2024. Today is 7th of January. We are heading, me and Yuki, to take some pictures. <laughs> it is a super cold day. Uh, we had minus 26 Celsius degrees this morning. And because we live in an old wooden house, uh, it's quite cold inside as well. But now I have my new cozy cocoa hood on. I have like four or five <laughs> layers on me, so. Let's see, it's a nice place to get a little bit of sunshine. It's been a while since I vlogged, honestly. Um, I've just felt really low on energy, had a couple of really difficult weeks. Also got the flu after Oslo. Um, just didn't have any energy. Like getting sick when you're pregnant, that's a whole different game, <laughs> apparently. And then just wasn't feeling very motivated. Uh, maybe a little bit stressed before the holidays. I don't know, many things. But now I feel like I've rested. Uh, got so much more energy and drive. So I'm trying also really to capture that. And I started a new knit design that I'm super excited about. proper coffee in a few days now because I caught some stomach bug or got food poisoning so the last few days I've been really sick um, finally today I feel like more energetic but I had a 24-hour period where I was just like couldn't keep any food down oh and being pregnant and being sick now I've been sick twice during this pregnancy and when physically everything is just takes more energy, I get more out of breath, um, I need to like sleep more. So this week didn't go really as planned, now it's Friday. Um, but I wanted to show you here in the end um, some of the things that I recently finished, knitted, uh, some things I'm working on, and also the yarns that I did pick up in uh, Norway and my plans for that uh, to kind of round off this video. So I've made myself a little bit of a coffee. Mm, yeah, mm, tastes really good. I want to show you the yarns that I did buy uh, in Norway in pickles. So I bought a lot of, um, this is called soft fuzz. It's alpaca and then it's a wool blend and it is super, super soft. Like it's not itchy at all. I haven't knitted with it yet but I bought lots of this kind of chocolate dark brown color. And then I got all these kind of not very typical for me colors. Um, I got like a burnt orange, this kind of lime color, a green one. And then, well, these are maybe more my colors, a pink one and kind of like a dusty yellow color. And also, oh yeah, also of white. Um, and my original plan when I was in pickles, I wanted to make a second sample of my stitches sweater. Um, this pattern, or I made this sweater already like a year ago. No, maybe not exactly a year ago, but still a long time ago. And uh, for some reason I dropped the ball on writing the knit pattern. Also right now I'm trying out um, a new way of working where I will first write the knit pattern and kind of grade it then knit the sample um, when I already have sort of the first draft of the pattern written so that immediately when I'm then done with the first sample I can send it for test knitting and release it because now the way I've been doing it for a long time is that I will knit something and after it's done I will start to write the pattern even if I have some notes but um, I've just found that 
<laughs> it's not the greatest workflow for me because what ends up happening is I kind of maybe lose a little bit interest once I'm like done with a project. So when I was doing this, I did make the charts. I was thinking about how to grade it for different sizes because obviously I have this text stitches. So a bit of a challenge to grade it for different sizes. Um, and then for some reason, like, um, I just didn't do it. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to try this new way. I'll, I'll keep you definitely posted on how that goes. Um, if it's like working, um, how it changes my workflow. Uh, also today I am wearing my Pride and Pearls cardigan. This is the second sample I made. Um, this pattern I have released also took me forever. Here's the first sample I made. Um, and I have a video tutorial that is almost ready. Uh, so I'm gonna be posting that probably the week after this video comes out. So stay tuned for that. I have finished two really big projects. The first one is this cable knit sweater, which I'm so in love with. Um, my plan was, I think last time I told you, uh, my plan was to have this ready for Christmas Eve. Well, that didn't happen because, well, life and being pregnant and just um, having, like, the days kind of just slip away. Also this time of year when it's so dark outside. Um, now it's around 3 p.m. and it's already getting a little bit dark and this morning even though I woke up pretty early uh, before 8 a.m. and I was so tired I had to go back to bed and then I slept from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and I definitely blame it on my whole like food poisoning incident. I couldn't really sleep at all and I was just feeling uh, like every time I would lay down on my side, I would get uh, these, I don't know what you call it in English, but like, you know, like when you get like acid from the stomach kind of coming up and you just like start to feel really nauseous. So for like 24 hours, like didn't really sleep more than maybe one hour at a time. And yeah, <laughs> just not very great. So uh, then I've just been, yeah, yesterday I was just sleeping all the day. Oh, there's a stitch marker in this one. Ah. Uh, do you also find that like random stitch markers like in pieces that I mean I've worn this already like multiple times um, in public <laughs> then you still find like the random stitch marker here and there um, can't remember really anymore <laughs> where I was but anyways um, yeah so I have finished this one uh, a little bit after or I think it was around New Year's um, finished it. It is uh, all the way cable knit. I made the sleeves very, very wide intentionally. I wanted to try that out. Um, and the body is also quite like boxy, even though there are some short rows and this is knitted top down with uh, raglan. And I knitted this in Borstet Alpaca in the color Poppy. Um, this one I have also, I'm in the process of making this pattern. Again, I should definitely have done the pattern before because now I have all these other projects that I'm doing but my goal is to get both this and this one that I also managed to finish that I started um, when I was in Portugal I think or then I was working on it. Um, both these I want to get uh, the pattern written up and test knitting going um, before I go on kind of maternity leave when and that's kind of just like a few weeks now um still if i have energy i'm definitely still gonna kind of be checking in and working here and there um but i just want to have like these out and about before that um so this one is a really kind of long also a cable on it but with a v-neck and i'm not done really v-necks that much so that was a really fun thing to do and here also well now because i've got this belly so i'm pretty big right now so i'm knitting everything pretty oversized but of course then i'll grade it so there'll be like also smaller sizes um available and maybe i'll knit one of them like in a smaller size also uh, after the baby's here and then I did a little just like a, a one by one ribbed beanie just felt like I don't have like enough hats and beanies and it's been super cold here in Finland um in January like we'd have we had yeah minus 26 and minus 20 degrees celsius which is not that common here especially in southern Finland but yeah definitely like felt the need for a beanie and this one I started already quite a long ago and then now I just finished it finally and then I have two other projects actually another beanie project that I just started yesterday 
um, in a really, really nice, like a uh, sky blue color, has like a folded up, um, like double folded, just in stock in that stitch kind of, uh, what do you call this? Is this the brim? I think this is what you call the brim. <laughs> like this that I'm working on. Um, and then saving kind of the best for last. Um, I'm really, really excited about a new sweater design. And you know, I love uh, designing and knitting bobbles. So this is very bobblicious. <laughs> oh, maybe it should be called that. Bobblicious sweater. It's not bad actually, because I don't have a name for it yet. So this in kind of pale uh, pink or pale blush color, knitted top down um, with a dropped shoulder. And well, now I got it on this uh, kind of tiny needle, so you can't maybe see, but I really adore all of these cables. Um, and then I have these bubbles here going on. Um, I did first a uh, little like swatch gate to try out the different uh, cables and I already cast on already for the back once, decided I didn't like one of the cables in it, felt like it didn't look so neat. So then I ripped it back up and started over and I'm much, much more satisfied this time. I am knitting with uh, two strands of Dating for Olive, their Merino, and then one strand of Filco Natilia. I believe this is, I think it's called Soft Pink um, or Powder Pink, Soft Pink or something like that. And this one, yeah, it's just matching almost exactly that. So this one, very, very excited about. Um, I'm knitting it uh, a bit over my size right now. I think this will be like size large or medium. I usually knit for myself like a size small or medium, but now with the belly <laughs> um, and I just feel like, yeah, I just want to have like really kind of oversized and kind of long garments at the moment. Maybe it's because the whole like nesting or want to be cozy or I don't know, comfort clothing, something like that. So everything I'm knitting right now, uh, I'm realizing is pretty, pretty oversized so actually now I think maybe my next product is gonna be something that is gonna be a little bit more tight fitting um I was already looking at like some things for summer like maybe like a lace top that maybe would be like long sleeve but pretty kind of tight I think that would be like super cool so let's see but that's all the things that I have like those are the two projects that have my needles right now of course some unfinished projects but let's not mention those um, then the stitches sweater, um, that pattern I want to make, this I want to make into a pattern, this one, this one, this one, and this one, ah, so many patterns. Oh yeah, and I have one more, I have the Cozy Coco Hood that actually when this video comes out, I think I've released a pattern, so I'll show you that one as well. This is the one I was wearing just the other day when we were outside. Um, but this is kind of how it looks when it's not on the head. <laughs> um, I really adore this. I think this is so cute and I really want to make one for the baby as well, like a smaller version without maybe the silk uh, mohair in it. Um, but I just, I really adore this design and I saw the test knitters. Uh, someone had made one like in a kind of blush, like pale pink color. And there was one like in white and in gray. And it all just looked so, so cute. Um, so I really, really like this. And it's, I think, so nice when you have the little snap sort of here at the bottom. So you can kind of get it um, like, a, wait, what is it called? Like a bonnet, bonnet? Um, not sure if I'm saying that correct or if that's even the correct word, uh, but maybe somebody will be able to uh, pick that up and understand what I mean. So yeah, the Cozy Coco Hood, uh, that pattern should be released or if it's not released, it will be coming like in a day or two after this video is released because it has been test knitted and I've sent it over for tech editing as well. So yeah, um, the thing I kind of lack uh, for my wardrobe right now is also mittens, I realize. Um, oh yeah, I also have one babe in it. Um, that I started during the Christmas. I think it's somewhere upstairs, but I'll put a photo up in here because it got so much uh, attention over on Instagram. I'm making like a little um, color work sweater uh, for the baby. Uh, I'll show you that for example. Well, I'll probably have it ready for the next video so I can show you the ready one uh, in my next video, but definitely also wanna try to make some more projects for the baby before it comes. Now there's only like, 
uh, not many weeks left um, and as you can still see we have the Christmas tree so there's like a lot of things at home that needs to get done um, I'm feeling kind of frazzled like a little bit all over the place um, to be honest um, and I feel like there's many things that are uh, I mean knitting is very relaxing but of course it's also a little bit work but I just feel here at home um, there are many projects that are kind of ongoing that need to get kind of finished or I feel like they should get like finished um, and then with work as well I feel a bit like that then I'm actually gonna um, the work office or the city office that I have I'm gonna need to empty out that um, and I just feel like at many and also like all the things for the baby getting ready those things that's also unfinished so like there are many things that are in progress that at the worst moments stresses me out quite a bit to be honest um, and uh, it's a bit of a thing that I'm struggling with but at the same time now when I was sick for a couple of days not being able to do anything lying in bed I've just been watched West Wing even though I've seen all the seasons like many times before um, and knitting whenever I had the energy um, for some reason I feel like more calm so I'm thinking um, maybe being forced to kind of stop for a while um, and not being able to all the time like start new things and go into the city and just be all over the place maybe that's good for my brain and just being at home a bit um, preparing the nest because uh, it kind of takes a lot of time just to sit around and then have that moment like okay now I'll tackle that thing or I'll go through that drawer and bit by bit getting things done and realizing that it's probably never like the to-do list of things is never gonna end so um striving for some kind of perfection or striving for some kind of place where it feels like ah oh, now I've done everything on the list now I can finally relax that's maybe probably a bit of an illusion that maybe that never comes so maybe it's just about accepting and being happy about the things that that you are able to complete i'm rambling a little bit i don't know i don't feel like myself and now somebody's at the door that's probably yuki so let me go and let him in okay that i think is it for this video I'm gonna wrap it up here i'm gonna still try to make some vlogs um of this final time before life changes and give you an update on the things that i'm uh, knitting um, and really want to share this with you um i'm really gonna try to work on this and not like start a bunch of other things while i'm still working on this i mean okay the hat project doesn't count because it's a small one <laughs> um and i really need a hat and i really like this color um, but otherwise I'm gonna try to finish this like quite quickly uh, so I can show you the ready piece as always you can come say hi I'm over at Kutubakika on Instagram there I share more of the things that I'm currently working on also if you like this video you can click subscribe so you'll get notified every time there's a new video and all my patterns you'll find both on Ravelry and in my web shop over at kutubakika.com I'll put all the links in the description down below and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.